in this video we will be discussing about a system of linear equations and uh, to explain to you these concepts i have taken one sample problem but first thing that you have to understand that system of linear equations are mainly of two types the first type is called as non homogeneous equations and other type is a uh, homogeneous equation now the difference is uh, in non homogeneous equation the system of equation looks like ax is equal to b that's the form it will take and for non homogeneous it is going to be ax is equal to 0 so right hand side is 0 that is homogeneous and right hand side is a b matrix that's non homogeneous now to understand this let us look at the question the question says test consistency okay we'll come to that little later and basically we are supposed to solve the system of linear equation and then these are all the linear equation now first point is linear linear because you have all the powers of variable is 1 see x and y and z all of them are power 1 so that basically means it's linear okay higher order x square or y square would have been non linear so every equation here is linear that's the first thing you observe and all the three equations put together form a system and we are supposed to solve this system of linear equation simply means you are supposed to find out the values of x y and z such that those values will satisfy each one of them all three equations will be satisfied such values you have to find out for x y z that is basically a solving part now let us see how we can solve this so the solution let us begin uh, first you will write down this system of equation in a matrix form and i'll show you how that works uh, it is going to look like this and then the right hand side is another matrix okay the first matrix is called as a coefficient matrix where you write down the coefficient of the equation so it is 1 1 1 for the first equation 1 1 1 and then this matrix is a matrix of variable so you have x y z over here do you know when we multiply matrices it is always a row multiplied by column so if you multiply this row with this column it is anyways 1x 1y 1z which is like this and equal to on a right hand side it is 3 so that's the first equation expressed in a matrix form like that let's do it for the second and third as well so it's going to be 1 2 3 are all the coefficients and the right hand side is 4 for the third equation it is 1 4 9 and right hand side is 6 so we have expressed this equation in this particular form and now you can clearly see that this one over here is of type ax is equal to b the right hand side is not zero it is another matrix which is b now understand this matrix is a also called as a coefficient matrix this matrix is capital x which is also called as a variable matrix and this matrix is a b which is a right hand side constant so we have got it in the form of ax is equal to b and now we will see how we can solve this matrix to solve this system of equation or this uh, matrices over here we have to reduce all the rows and let us do it one by one uh, the reduction of the row is done like this that you have these are the diagonal matrix focus on the matrix a and all these elements over here okay below that diagonal we are supposed to make them zero we will make a strategy and we will try to make them zero so first we what we'll do is we'll make these two zeros so my entire focus is going to be i want to make this zero and i want to make this zero now how do i do that by a row operation let me perform the first set of row operation i will do r2 becomes r2 minus r1 now why am i subtracting the row 2 from row 1 uh, why i am subtracting row 1 from row 2 because if i do r2 minus r1 this is 1 minus 1 give going to give me zero and the other operation will perform is r3 becomes r3 minus r1 i will use this this one and i subtract that from these two so that these two become zero let us perform both these operation and let's see what happens now uh, so well let's rewrite this whole thing okay we can just write capital x for this and the right hand side is over here okay so this is 1 1 1 look first row will not change because we are only changing r2 and r3 so the first row will remain same and then right side 3 will also be same now let us perform this r2 minus r1 so if i do 1 minus 1 this becomes 0 that is what we wanted so it's all good next is 2 minus 1 that is 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 and do that here as well don't forget to do it on the right hand side as well so you'll do r2 minus r1 that is 4 minus 3 that gives you 1 
and do that now the next operation is r3 minus r1 so it is 1 minus this one this one minus this one which is going to be 0 anyways 4 minus 1 is 3 and 9 minus 1 is 8 and on a on the b matrix here it is 6 minus 3 that's r3 minus r1 so that is 6 minus 3 is going to give you 3 right so the first set of operations are done we already got these two zero now as i said the next value we want to make is this zero okay so we to make this three zero the next operation would be r3 becomes r3 minus three times r2 see if you understand this what if i make this three times so this one will become three and then when i subtract this will become zero okay so that is what we want I am only focusing on how to make 3, 0. I am not looking at anything else. So let us perform this operation and see what happens. Now, uh, we are only changing R3. So this 1, 1, 1 and 0. This was 1. right? 0, 1, 2 is going to be as it is. X and the right hand side 3 and 1 will remain as it is. Now we have to only change R3 and we are doing R3 minus 3 R2. So you have to you have to multiply R2 by 3 and subtract. Multiply R2 by 3 and subtract here. That 0 will not change. It's just still 0. Now multiply R2 by 3. That is going to be 3. And 3 minus 3 is going to be 0. Multiply R2 by 3. This will become 2 times 3 is 6. And 8 minus 6 is going to give me 2. Okay. Then multiply R2 by 3 will be 3. And 3 minus 3 is going to be 0. Okay. So now this form here. Now make a note of this. Uh, this form is called as echelon form okay echelon form or it is also called as a row reduced echelon form because we have we did the row operations and we've got it in this particular form and now you see that below the diagonal all the values are zero or you can see that this triangle this matrix has become upper triangular matrix so that all the values below the diagonal are zero so once you get it in this particular form the next what you will do is um let me clear some space here. Now we will rewrite all the equations. And it goes like this. And now rewrite equations. Okay. So first row. Okay. This was this x was anyways x, y, and z, right? So let me write that as x, y, and z. Let us multiply row by column. So rewriting equation will get x plus y plus z that I multiplied first row with this column. 1 into x, 1 into y, 1 into z. x plus y plus z is equal to 3. That's the first one. Now, second equation is uh, 0x, 1y, and 2z. So it is 0x, 1y, and 2z is equal to 1. Do you see right hand side is 1. And the last equation, these two are 0 anyway. So it is 2z is equal to 0. So this is 2z is equal to zero. Now, after you rewrite equations like this, it becomes very easy to find out the value. Look, when 2z is equal to zero, z must be zero, right? Z must be zero. You can divide both sides by two if you want. And you can see zero is equal to zero by, z is equal to zero by two. That's just zero. I hope you get that part. Now, what you do is put this z zero here. So now this z becomes zero. Okay, so two into zero is gonna be zero. This term will become zero. And y will be equal to one. So from this equation, I will get y is equal to 1. And now look at this equation here. Okay, if you have z 0, this value is 0. And y is equal to 1. So x is equal to, this one goes on the other side. x is equal to 3 minus 1, that is 2. Okay, so I got this as x value as well. Uh, and then x is equal to 2. So we found out all the values x, y, and z. And for sure, these values will satisfy each one of the equation. You can try and see. If I put x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to 0. Do you see 3 equal to 3? This equation, it is working for this equation. It will work for all three of them. You can try the second and third as well. It will definitely work. So this is called as the solution of this system of equations. So let me write down the solution of a system of equation is x y z values are this is 2 1 and 0 and that is the final answer now after we solve this question there are few observation that i want you to understand very well that 
look now if you look at, now focus on this this is the reduced form of the matrices right so now this is ax is equal to b form isn't it this one matrix is a the reduced form this matrix is x and this matrix is b mm. now let me write down the echelon form of matrix a and echelon form of matrix a is 1 1 1 and this is 0 1 2 and this is uh, 0 0 2 then uh, next we will want to write down a colon b now this is called as an augmented matrix okay where we'll club a and b and write them down together so a colon b or a club with b is going to be 1 1 1 0 1 2 these are the a values 0 0 2 and we can write a line like this and now on the right hand side is b value this is 3 1 and 0 now once you write like this next we will find out the rank of a okay row of a you can read it as rank of a and rank of a the the rule says that rank in, a, in when when the matrix is in echelon form the rank is number of non zero rows so let me make a note of that point somewhere here that rank is equal to number of non zero rows okay so we have first row non zero then second row is also non zero see one and two are non zeros and the third row is also non zero because there is this value here which is non zero so rank of a is three non zero rows so rank of a is three okay make a note of this point and next is let us find the rank of a colon b or a augmented b okay these are the augmented matrices i've clubbed a and b together now what is the rank of a colon b the rule is still same number of non zero rows do you see the first row is non zero second row is also non zero and third row is also non zero because of this two okay so we have a rank of a colon b is also three now i'll write down the conclusion and the conclusion is conclusion is since since rank of a is equal to rank of a colon b and that is equal to three right therefore the system is consistent okay so you have to make the note of the